Speedo's Laser Racer swimsuits helped propel swimmers to victory in 94% of the races in the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympics, and later helped spur World Swimming's governing body to change its rules about swimsuits amid accusations of technology doping. What makes these swimsuits so fast? <whistles> to make the swimsuits, Speedo developed what it calls its laser pulse fabric, reportedly made from polyurethane along with nylon and elastane more commonly known as spandex. The combo has the basics you'd want in a swimsuit, it's light and waterproof, but it also sculpts the swimmer's body into a more streamlined form. Speedo teamed up with NASA and found that they could further reduce a swimmer's drag by ultrasonically welding the seams instead of stitching them. In 2008, swimmers broke more than 100 world records wearing these souped up swimsuits. Bye. Garments made with intelligent fabrics will soon be flying off the shelves. Our first speaker is Claire Ortiz, the CEO and founder of intelligent fashion company Ortiz Industry Incorporated. For more than 25 years, Claire has built infrastructure and led teams and startup environments in global corporations like Nike, Wilson, and Under Armour. By collaborating with the likes of DuPont and Optimer to invent compounds for new technical fibers, she is literally creating an emerging market for performance fashion. Claire will get the ball rolling with the topic of smart design and textile innovation. Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about sport performance, textile innovation, and biodynamic design. We want to make sure that the foundation of a great performing textile is there. It has to be flexible, it has to move with the body. It must be functional in that whatever the end user is doing, what that activity is, it's acting as a second skin. We're bringing in bioceramic compounds and mineral energy, creating flexible, stretchable materials without any blends. Bioceramic fabrics are fibers treated with bioceramic compounds of ionic materials such as silver or tourmaline. The compound is biocompatible, non-toxic, and non-inflammatory. The combination is processed at above 1600 degrees Fahrenheit and cools with FIR properties. So this is a great benefit because we generally have to process materials at very high temperatures. And because bioceramic compounds can be used with natural fibers, this gives us the ability to expand from using just synthetic fibers, which can hold high heat levels. The benefit to using bioceramic compounds in fabrics is really that we are able to create a very natural base fabric, such as your cotton feel or a wool feel, and have properties that allow for High, high heat levels or cold levels for athletes, this is really critical because one of the most important things in sport is temperature regulation and moisture management. For decades, we've known that all natural spider silk could be a great benefit in sport performance because of its tensile strength and flexibility. However, given its complex harvesting and commercialization process, We've just not been able to use it. So SpiderSense really answers that call. We've taken man-made polymers to mimic the tensile strength and flexibility of all natural spider silk. By perfecting synthetic creation methods, spider silk can be commercially produced in high quantities and not lose any of the inherent properties of all natural spider silk. Additionally, spider sense can be spun into both woven and non-woven textiles, and because of its inherent properties of flexibility and strength, we don't have to combine it with spandex or any elastanes. It also takes color dyes incredibly well and has biocompatibility to the human skin. So comfort, flexibility, and strength are characteristics that are very important in any sport performance category. Beauty Armor. This technology comes out of the beauty industry as well as the medical industry. 
We know that hyaluronic acid is a natural substance present in the skin that's capable of stimulating the production of collagen, which counteracts the aging effect of free radicals. Within this fiber technology, nanoparticles of hyaluronic acid are inserted into the yarn during the spinning process. Beauty Armor is achieved by infusing yarns with hyaluronic acid and silver nanoparticles. The textiles are used primarily in women's bodywear, shapewear, and seamless intimates in high compression garments. As a result, we've seen the promotion of collagen regeneration, hydration, and biocompatibility. I want to take you through a collaboration that we did with DuPont Microcircuit Materials Group and utilizing their new silver paste ink. What we did was create a compression garment that had several different inherent benefits just within the fabric itself and the way that we built it as well as pulling in DuPont and their team to create a sensor system and conductive inks with an electronics unit that would measure heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, and also detect motion. So there are a lot of moving parts here, but what we found is that with the inks themselves, they needed to be as flexible and as stretchable as the actual fabric. So when we have a poly and spandex blend and it is a four-way stretch, but the sensors themselves did not move, this is where we had a lot of work to do. So with the conductive inks, we created a system that we called an octopus. We were able to create a zigzag effect that actually did have some flexibility and because the inks themselves are flexible, not to the point where you know the, the body was, we still had to protect them. So we created a very thin encapsulant that went over the conductive inks to protect them. To create a conductive ink as well as a sensor that has a central module was one thing, but sizing, so imagine sizing. The sensors, when they hit the body, have to be very, very precise. So here you see we decided that the actual shape of the sensors themselves would be elongated versus circular, which is where we began, and that would give us at least a horizontal flexibility. The team at DuPont then also ha had to understand that although the ink itself was, you know, it was incredible. I mean, what it was able to do was really amazing. However, there wasn't any way that from a commercial perspective, it could get put on to garments at a certain scale. Everything that we invent is only good if it is scalable. I'll leave you with the idea that in order for any product to be useful or usable, what we have to do is make sure that there is no ecosystem chaos. And that's something that right now in the world of wearable tech is happening. Groups of people who have really never worked with each other, uh, electronics folks and uh, textile mills and garment designers and colorists and logistics people in streamlining the process. Take a look outside of what it is that you're doing and know just enough about all of the other parts so that before you get too far down the road, you have torn down some of the barriers to entry. Claire, thank you so much for sharing your insight about smart design.